it's cold today. So, welcome. I hope you're doing great. I hope everything is good out there. If you don't know me, my name is Thomas Minot, and this is somewhat of a comeback video back to YouTube after actually eight months of being away. In this video, I wanna talk about something that's been clouding me a bit over these months that I've been away from the platform. But before we dive in deeper, I think we should go and meet up with the Vivi for a coffee. So let's get out. I must admit, it's actually not that cold today. Ooh, I'm feeling warm. Definitely feeling it right now. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna text her so she knows that we are on our way. It's amazing. Let's go and find her. Okay, we should be here very shortly. Yo, 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 yo. Hi. What's up? You came from this way? Yeah, yeah. I did. I did. Okay. <laughs> I walked the other way around. It was because I was filming along the way. Mm. Did some shots. I thought you were lost. No, no. Do I ever get lost? Um, Marocchino. M I N O T E. Yeah, Thomas Mano. Yeah, that one, yeah, exactly. Small channel, but growing. Oh, no, exactly. Oh, ciao. <laughs> Mama and Filia. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. But when they saw the camera and they heard that we were doing YouTube videos, they went all in and did a coffee with Nutella in. Did I get it on my nose? <laughs> no, here. Ah. Wow, it's actually, it's super good. I was not ready for sweet, but I'm super happy they went all in and made this dessert for me. So I'm trying to make a video this time of you know, struggles of getting started and the the whole holding back kind of feeling that we sometimes have inside when we're gonna try something new or jump for something big or not even, it doesn't even have to be big, you know, it can just be scary. Um, and I was thinking about the situation right now being in Italy. Have you kind of been through some of those, I don't know, ups and downs of kind of getting here and, you know, getting started and settling in Italy and... Of course, because it's a big thing and it requires a lot of commitment but it's that one commitment that is mostly financial and which for me was a, a big big goal i don't know if it is because it's it's a change i was ready for the change i was just not fully ready uh, to take the risk you know it's it's a big risk so just just to be clear what what is it that you are doing now? What is it that you're trying to do here in Italy? Applying for my citizenship. So Italian citizenship. So she's trying to, to apply for her Italian citizenship because she has some family, uh, way out family roots uh, from Italy that moved to Brazil many years ago. And there's an open agreement between Brazil and Italy that you can apply for your citizenship when you have had family here, right? Mm, yeah, because my grand grandparents, they immigrated to Brazil. Yeah, they immigrated. Okay, yeah. So mm -hmm. that's why she's here. And that's why I'm here right now visiting. Um, hopefully we can open the Europe door at some point. You know, when you go through something that is hard, what's going to be the result of it? You know, I could end up not getting my citizenship. Mm. And I could end up getting my citizenship. But oh, what about after the citizenship? You know, like what to do and 
yeah. everything is so cloudy and so on. And that's actually a very good point to what this video is kind of about and what I want to talk about is that, of course, you know, jumping into the unknown of not knowing what's going to happen on the other side and how, how it's going to go. So you don't know what the end is, how the end is going to be, but of course you're hoping for the best. But it's scary, like putting a lot of effort and, and finance and practical work into something if it's not going to work out too well. This is also why I've been away from videos for a long time. I know it's not an investment in the same <laughs> amount as you're doing, but it's more about putting my face out there and you know, feeling that I have something to say that's worth saying. This has been yeah, just uh, a held back in my mind for a long time. And the perfectionism of want to do good and great and develop and learn and do better videos. Every time I do a video, I want to do a, I want to make a better video. Mm. <laughs> and then accuse the consistency. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because I want to do bigger and more epic stuff every time and that requires time and investment and learning and growth. Bon Saint Martin. Questo treno è diretto a We just made it to Aosta. The sun here is pretty intense though. Mm -hmm. the, you said something about the UV light rays being pretty intense. Yeah. So we can feel it though, but it's, it's still amazing. It's still amazing, of course. Check this view out. So making videos for me is something that I truly enjoy and I want to do it all the time. I feel inspired, places that I am, things that I see, conversations that I have. But the whole thing about uploading and posting and being public about it, for some reason is, is still difficult because I'm experimenting a lot. I am doing different types of content, different types of videos, just to see what I find interesting and what I want to do. So let's say being here in Italy with the mountains around us, seeing the mountains over here in the background, definitely makes me inspired and want to create something. The whole problem is that I don't know what that something is you know like I want to tell stories I want to do something make something meaningful something that has an impact something that kind of makes sense in some way for myself I'm still trying to figure out the, the holy grail of what makes sense for me and what I feel is the direction that I should go it's still an experiment it's still uh, on the path of figuring out what makes sense but definitely getting closer <laughs> so yeah Let's not talk about that right now because we still have to wait for it. But of course, being in Italy, we have to try Italian pizza. <laughs> so that's what's gonna happen soon and better soon. Better soon than later. This stomach needs food. So again, being in Italy, you have to try an Italian pizza. It smells, so it smells amazing. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Everything about this feels right. Crunchiness, 
the smell, the texture, the amount of cheese. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Fuck, that pizza was so amazing. The Seriously. Day was amazing. The day was amazing, the pizza was amazing. I'm so full. Let's go home. Ready to go home? Let's go home. Wow, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. In case you did, throw me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's gonna help me out. And I'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully not in eight months from now. Peace. Buonasera, eh, pizza, buonasera.